So this is all very exciting. For the uninitiated, can you explain how this collection of work came to be? Yes. <laughs> Uh, this collection of work came to be because uh, Christine Redfern, who is a curator uh, at the gallery Elephant, put it together. And it consists of some machinima, which are movies that I make in virtual spaces like video games. And the movies are about Haudenosaunee culture. So for example, I have a movie called She Falls for Ages. It's 20 minutes long, and it's a sci-fi retelling of the Haudenosaunee creation story. I also have um, another piece called Generations of Play, which has a cornhusk doll, a Barbie doll, and a printout of my avatar, all wearing my avatar's outfit. Uh, so yeah, they, they came together because I'm very interested in showing Indigenous people in the future. So, and how are the, how do you say that the Duke and Duchess and just even the general public, how are they supposed to interact with the work that's in Aliens, Avatars, and Ancestors? Mm -hmm. Well, they're supposed to look at it, uh, you know, watch it and listen to it and think about it. Um, what I'm hoping that they'll get out of it is that, you know, not only do Indigenous people exist, and I, my understanding is that in the UK, um, a lot of people think that maybe we're not around anymore. Um, but not only do we, not only are we around, but we plan to be around for a very long time, and that we're envisioning ourselves in the future, and that despite attempts at, well, despite colonization and attempts at genocide, we are still um, working towards revitalizing our culture. We're, we survived and we're on our way to thriving. What is it about cyberpunk or the digital universe that compels you as an artist? I think it's an ex incredible place. It's uh, almost limitless. Mm -hmm. It allows us to m imagine our futures in a futuristic medium. Mm. Um, also, the thing about cyberspace is it was a new medium that started happening at the same time that Indigenous people had access to it. So with um, now we have APTN, we have TV cameras, and we know how to use them, and we know how to write in you know this language uh, but before we um, you know people had cameras and we didn't and they took mm -hmm. pictures of us and told their stories about us and made stereotypes about us this was a cyberspace was a, a, a whole new medium that we could get in on at the same time as everybody else I love that. So in addition to all of this, you are uh, 2019's Indigenous Knowledge Keeper at McGill University. I'm curious, what have you learned through this experience uh, of exhibiting overseas? What, how has that added to your knowledge base? Um, I think before I exhibited over there, I had this idea that there wasn't a big reason for an Indigenous artist to show in there, that my audience is here, that the people who would get my work the best would be here. Um, but what I'm realizing is that there's a lot to say. Uh, you know, the, the world is shrinking, has mm -hmm. shrunk. There's a lot to say to um, everyone in the world. But uh, over there, especially the seat of empire, uh, there's a lot to think about and to talk about. And there's a dialogue that can happen that I didn't realize I needed to be there to have that conversation. This is exciting. I'm so, uh, congratulations on this. Happy for you, and uh, I hope it goes amazingly well. Lots of success for you. Thank you so much.